Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Guys, we just finished the review for uh, Mateusz Cunha, so if you guys want to go check that out, be sure to do so. Uh, the next card that we have is going to be Morgan Gibbs White. Uh, this card is 5 foot 10, high medium work rates, right footed, 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot. Uh, so people usually don't watch the full video, so they'll just comment right away. I have to mention this right away before mentioning it at the end. Um, if this card wins, it's a plus 2 with a five star weak foot okay we usually talk about that stuff near the end of the video but it's important to mention that now because some people will put it in the comment section and the sheep will follow and they'll be like yeah why didn't he say it but then we did say it you know what i'm saying it happens a lot but with this card guys we're taking a look at someone who has no crazy player traits he's got technical dribbler flare traits in-game attributes we have to give this card a hunter chemistry cell it has to be um so what we're working with is a potential improvement of plus two for acceleration and sprint speed if that's what they end up doing right and then a plus two for the shooting passing dribbling which is going to be super necessary right because if you take a look at his dribbling capabilities they're all going to be the 90s area with that improvement the shooting will all be in the 90s area for the important areas the volleys and long shots will be on the lower side obviously uh pace will obviously be pretty much really really high explosive accelerate uh does work a little bit differently now these guard these cards do feel a little bit faster which is um obviously very important to work with for the meta of the game passing on the card also in a good area with this card having an average body type to be honest with you even in the future i would probably still mainly use them in the side positions because of that average body type unless his average body type performs okay in game. I don't think it's going to perform anything like Correa because Correa is a unique case, but we'll see. Here's the thing about this card as well on a plus two. It's the defensive stats. So that adds to the card, okay? To be fair, it does add to the card because what you could do in the future is you could actually decide to not give him the Hunter chemistry style because you're not going to use him in the main, main positions. You're actually going to go ahead and give him the shadow chemistry style which still makes him an explosive player with plus twos for defending stats in every single area that's gonna be the main way i think with a card that you're gonna be using in the meta of the gameplay as one of your three or not three excuse me one of your two center mids playing in that three midfield setup right so let's say for instance uh you guys enjoy using a 4321 or you like to use a 433 and this card is playing in a center mid position on a shadow it's actually usable in that area, right? Because of the stats being increased. That with a five-star weak foot on the defensive stats would also be a massive plus. But you'd have to see what the plus two is going to be like on the card. So what we're going to do is we're going to try him out on the Hunter chemistry style to use him in the main attacking positions. And then we'll also try him out in that center mid role, basically as the push forward, come back type of guy, right? So with Gibbs White, uh, for now, we're going to go ahead and give him the Hunter chemistry style. Uh, to use him up top in the main attacking positions. And then we will be rotating him into the midfield area as well. So, yeah. Um, let me see if I still have the 4-3-3. I do. So, you see this possession-based one, the one that I showed you guys or we reviewed uh, not too long ago? This is an example of what I'm talking about, right? So, let's say, for instance, I were to do, you know, something like this, right? I would do Mars here, Luis Diaz here. And I'm using Gibbs White in the left center mid area. That's where it would be nice because on the instructions for this, the card is on stay back while attacking cover wing. You can use them in that way. But obviously for the more attacking oriented one, you can use them in that area too because it's cards that need defensive capabilities anyways, right? So that's how we're going to be testing him. We're going to be testing him uh, in the 4-2-3-1, one of the main attacking positions, right? In the cam area because I need to see what his dribbling and stuff is like, right? Um, and then we're also going to be trying him out... Again, in the 4-3-3, where he's going to be basically played in the midfield position on a shadow. Okay, on a shadow. So, we'll see what he's like. Oh, I don't score that opportunity. Okay. Okay. His dribbling does feel a little bit better. It, it, it feels better than I thought it would on the average. With those dribbling stats, it does. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, his dribbling, I thought his dribbling was going to be worse. I'm going to be honest, especially with those dribbling stats. So that's actually a plus because if he ends up getting um, a future upgrade, that'd be great for the uh, for the base boost. 
All roll touch, go back in. So a green time shot on his uh, weak foot, not great there. So obviously the five star weak foot would be hugely beneficial for more consistency. Not a guarantee there because it's not a super high percent strike. Oh, I actually got a defensive play there with him in the cam spot. Oh, I thought he was on side there because it looked like he held his run. Oh, he's offside again. Get a defensive play there. See, like, I'm thinking of it as a midfielder. Like, as a midfielder, that dribbling is not bad. I mean, attacker, you want more responsive. That's just how it is in this game nowadays. But um, as a midfielder, it's pretty decent. That was lucky. I didn't, uh, I personally didn't intend to do those dribbles. Like, it kind of just came off the way that it did, huh? Oh, almost, almost. Half shot. There you go. Yeah, he has that average body type. It's noticeable with the dribbling stats, right? But it's just, it feels better than I initially thought it would. It's definitely for that center mid area, though, for sure. Like, it's not going to be a main attacker th uh, flex, I don't think. Oh, that worked out. I'll take it. Aw, raising shot. Didn't get the green either. Yeah, a couple of... Oh. Really? Okay. More emphasis there, though. You see that? Like, even on the first touch, he had, like, a little bit more of a, a pull on it, so... Base car stats for dribbling being improved would be a huge plus for that. That's what I'm telling you guys. Like, main attacker stuff, like, you need high dribbling. I'm sorry. It's just it's just true. In the midfield position, it's not as crazy because you rely on movement defensively and attacking-wise off the ball than you do on the ball. Like, you do a little bit, but it's just, like, small little drags like that just to pass the ball quickly, right? White time, nothing too crazy special. Uh, guys, I'm just going to give him the shadow right away. Um, okay, so plus twos. Plus twos, shot power will be higher. Positioning will be higher. Fin finishing will be higher. And dribbling will be higher. On a shadow, that's what he looks like with a plus two as well with the potential win. Okay? So that's what we have to... Excuse me. That's what we have to think about. It's that type of stuff. So 4-3-3. Three, three, no play on that right center mid area. Cool. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, 433. There we go. Okay, we just start off right away. Cool. And that's me giving him a shadow. You can see right there, okay? That was a weird bounce. It is kickoff, though. You guys know how kickoff is. Oh, see? You see what I'm saying? A little bit of defensive play right there. Touch the ball a little bit, a little through ball. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Small dribbles with the midfielders. Oh, no shot there. Oh, we hit the post. Unlucky. Ah, uh, unlucky. You guys know how Sergio Ramos be in this game. You know how he be. You see what I'm saying? Got the movement there. Little body faint. Got the white time shot. There it is. AI almost gets that. Maybe with a plus two on the uh, defending stats, you would actually get to it, huh? Maybe. Oh, I should have just done a... I should have done a driven cross. Now, 
gives White. Looking for the angle. That's the type of stuff you work with, right? Like, I, I just have to find small angles. I don't have to, like, overcommit on the attack. The dribbling will work differently. Long way out this. Uh, this game's random. I mistimed that like crazy, and I still scored. Um, what was I saying? I lost myself. I'll take it. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, he comes alive around the box. He's so good at backing into defenders, rolling away. Oh, I was slightly off of the timing there. Yeah, just covering the general area. Wish we could have gone to it, but I have everything. And not, not unless you're Palinga. You know, Palinga, Palinga's uh that guy. Vinicius Jr. Oh nice. I did a manual slide challenge there and it doesn't get it doesn't reward me. You know, you know how this game be. Oh look at this. Keep it in. Yeah. Well, sometimes you get lucky in those situations. You guys know how FIFA goes. No, it was a pop shot too. Oh, that's unlucky. Those swerve shots are crazy on those pops. The tackle. Oh, what I would do for possession-based tackles in a football game, especially when I manually use them. No, I couldn't get the left stick right away. That average body type. Nice. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new showdown, Gibbs White. So here's the thing about this promo. Uh, I was mentioning this in the Mateusz Kuinga video. I don't like this promo because of the way that they basically price these SPCs and they try to get rid of your fodder. Uh, they make you pretty much like gamble for the potential upgrade on the card. It's not, I'm not a fan of it. It's for that type of stuff, right? Um, here's the thing about this card, right? The, the price range that he's at, if it's a guaranteed, and it, here's the thing, it's not like it would have been some sort of bad SBC in this sense, right? But I just want to explain something. If you price the SBC around that price area, but then he is guaranteed the improvements on the card, and he has the five-star weak foot, and he has the shadow chemistry style, then it's a pretty cool SBC to get. Why? Because you guys can see that I was using him in the center mid position with the average body type. It adds some physical to the card to actually be able to defend from time to time, right? But it's a card that would be able to attack because imagine a card like this with plus twos in every single area, pace, shooting, passing, and dribbling. Most of the dislikes, in my opinion, for this card is one, coming from the price because it is 100% overpriced. And two, because people are looking at him too much from an attacking perspective. But for the meta of this game, you can't really use him as a main attacker. I mean, you could, sure, you could make him work, absolutely, if you're Harry, you know, be my guest. But this is a card that if you're actually looking at it from a normal perspective, you're supposed to use him in the right mid position for a three back formation, or you use him in that center mid area, like I showed you guys with the 4-3-3, using that possession-based play style, whatever, and he's being, and he is the attacking oriented card in that position. That's how, he's going to be usable, right? But that is with the 100% like confirmation that he's going to have that upgrade, you know, from the price range of the card. So that's why I'm not really a huge fan of this promo because honestly, they, they price the cards, I, per, I personally believe, fairly for an upgrade. Unless it's someone like Stones and Murphy, that one is not as bad because you really think Man City's going to come out with a W and then when Stones came out at 130K, the price range is pretty decent because he's more of a guarantee, but cards like this or games like this that can be more 50-50, especially with Wolves trying to battle for relegation or to avoid relegation. You know what I mean? It's one of those types of situations. So both of the SBCs are overpriced. Both of them have the capabilities of being pretty usable cards of the game. That's just what this, this, uh, this promo is, right? Because on a shadow chemistry style, 
playing in the center mid position, the card's okay to use there because let's take a look at some things here, right? Um, if I were to go to the center mid area and I go to the Premier League players, I want you to take a look at some of the way that these cards are priced, right? So let's go to the actual price and we'll go to around that general area for 200K, right? Okay, so you got Thiago Alcantara, Fabio Vieira, Dirk Kite, you know, 248K, Fred at 277. A high, high work rates, four star, four star, right? Obviously, with Gibbs White, it's a little bit different because he is a high medium work rated card, right? While playing in that specific position or in that three back area. Because, guys, look, look at the card, right? On a shadow, imagine plus twos for both acceleration and sprint speed, and then plus twos for defending. Base card stats for shooting would be higher. You can use them in that right mid position for the three back. You know what I'm saying? So, I agree with the dislikes on the cards because I think they're overpriced, right? Because you're doing it and really hoping that the upgrade happens because that's the case for both of the cards, right? Um, it, it's just one of those types of situations, you know? Honestly, yeah, just do your... Like, for the cards now, just do your showdown and just give them the upgrades. Like, they, they're they not... They're not overly priced or lower priced if you're putting them at 200k for those guarantees. It, that's what it is. That's what it comes down to. Guys, listen. If you're the type of person that you're okay with the whole gamble situation when it comes to these types of cards if this card does get the improvement it's a solid center mid to use if you use them in that way or if you're playing that three back and you're using them in the right mid position those areas would be perfectly fine for the card okay just remember this like we mentioned in the, in the beginning of the video okay it's a plus two with a five star weak foot the five star weak foot would be a huge plus because his shooting would be in a better better area too on a plus two better attacking positioning Finishing at an 84 with 90 for shot power, like that's fine for midfielders. That's fine. Especially even in the right mid area for a card that's going to attack and defend on a shadow while being explosive, that's fine. Because these cards, explosive players are faster now, especially after the patch. Okay? Guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.